Good Saturday evening. It was a day where we saw a little bit of everything. Snow this morning early on down to the valley floor and then sun breaks and then rain showers this afternoon. Wasn't sure if I should be wearing my sunglasses or my rain slicker for most of the day. We were back and forth, back and forth. Snow up on Burnside, the top of the hill there. Chris Robach sent this in. Thank you so much. Send your weather pictures to us. News at coin.com. Here's another great shot taken by Marie on Mount Scott. They woke up to a nice dusting up there and very snowy up on the mountains. This is a picture sent in by Justin Beach. Whiteout conditions because the wind's really whipping up over the Cascades today on top of all the snow they've seen. Today we've seen just a steady stream of showers and low snow level throughout the afternoon, falling as rain around Portland and throughout the Willamette Valley. But over the coast range and the Cascades, definitely a lot of snow. Winter weather advisory in effect until tonight at 10 o'clock. Overnight, the showers become less frequent, but will be cold enough for snow everywhere, so can't rule out a dusting anywhere. You might be wondering about this glob of clouds moving toward us. I think most of the energy from the system misses us. It shears off and heads both north and south out of our hair. So here's rain and snow cast for the next 24 hours. 6.30 tonight, we are mostly dry through the Willamette Valley, but still snowing in the Cascades and over the coast range. Maybe a snow shower or two rolling through by 8 o'clock tonight. By 11, spotty snow showers down on the valley floor, but these are quick moving, so maybe putting down a little bit of a dusting, not much more than that. 7.30 tomorrow morning, uh, most of us are dry from Portland to Salem, but still snowing over the coast range and over the Cascades. And then you'll see as the day wears on, there, the chance goes from snow to rain on the valley floor. Portland possibly seeing a sprinkle or two around 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, but I think overall Sunday is going to be a drier day than we had on uh, Saturday, and we're drying out Sunday night. So what to expect on Sunday overnight will be cold enough for snow everywhere, but showers will be on the decrease. Sunday morning, a dusting is possible anywhere from a passing shower, but it's just as likely you won't see anything. So just cross your fingers if you're a snow person. Any snow on the ground below 1,000 feet will melt pretty quickly tomorrow as we warm up throughout the day and have those sun breaks. Overnight lows will be very close to freezing around the Portland metro area. Along the coast will be in the upper 30s with the showers generally on the decrease overnight tonight. Waking up in the morning along the coast, the chance of a few snow flurries and then turning to the chance of uh, rain showers as we work our way into the afternoon will be in the mid 40s throughout the day tomorrow uh, for the Willamette Valley. But waking up much colder than that and close to freezing, the chance of snow flurries in the morning hours. Mostly dry east of the Cascades, less wind. They had a high wind warning over there today on Saturday. The wind's dying down as well over the Cascades tomorrow, so a better day for skiing. I think we could pick up another inch or two from snow showers over the Cascades on Sunday. A few showers through the gorge tomorrow, likely a snowy variety in the morning, and then switching over to a rain-snow mix by afternoon. So isolated showers around Portland at about 8 o'clock. A few showers possible around noontime and sun breaks, and maybe a few more showers by 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So here's your seven-day forecast. Snow and rain showers on Sunday, mostly dry for Monday. I think that'll be the driest day of the week. And then Tuesday, we're turning wet and breezy again. And this is a tricky day. Depending on when the rain arrives, it could start as snow for some of us. So we're keeping a close eye on Tuesday. And then look at this. We're wet throughout the rest of the week. Have a great second half of your weekend.